right, all right. Good morning, Facebook world. Ben, hey, good morning, brother. So uh, it's Monday morning. Had a beautiful weekend. Rode a lot. We did uh, over 40 miles Saturday and Sunday down to Long Beach and back twice with Benny and Carl. And now Monday morning hit, and my legs are definitely stiff. And uh, getting out of bed was definitely, uh, what am I doing? But I know that someone may be in my driveway. And when I first looked out this morning, I didn't see anyone. But then I looked closer, and Maddie joined me. So uh, I got a riding partner today. Yep. And we're out here. We decided to take a trip down to Bay Park and uh, watch a little bit of uh, the sun over the water coming up in the background there, trying to break through the clouds. Drizzling a little bit, kind of a little overcast day, but you know, it's kind of peaceful. Have a nice, quiet, cool day after a busy weekend, kind of calming. And then said, that we need the, uh, <coughs> the drearier days because it makes you appreciate the sunny days that much more. And so, uh, yeah, we're down here, Bay Park. It's always beautiful down here. Five miles from Malvern right at the moment. So any of you guys that live in Malvern, you want to take a bike ride, this is one of the weekly rides we do. In five miles, we did it in about 16 minutes. We're pushing a little bit today, and uh, that's it. So today, let's see what our message is for today. I'm going to talk about patience. Um, in life, we want instant gratification. We want everything to happen right away, and if it doesn't happen right away, we give up. So it's important to have patience. So trust the process. Trust the process. Keep doing the work. Uh, have the faith and know that uh, you have a plan and follow through on your plan. Again, a lot of us don't have patience. The minute that uh, we don't see the results we're looking for, we bail and start over and go on to the next thing. Me being uh, diagnosed with ADHD, I'm guilty of that. I bounce around a little bit and uh, lose the focus and uh, something I concentrate in my own life to have patience and trust the process. So um, something for everyone to think about if you're not getting the results you need. Stay in it, go harder, and keep going until you get the results you want. Don't bail, don't start a diet for a week, not get skinny, and then bail and start eating again and say this doesn't work. Don't start the gym for a week, a month, and say this isn't working and stop. Um, don't start um, that new business opportunity and uh, do it for a week, a month, or whatever, and then not see the instant gratification you're looking for and stop. So it's important to have the patience, have the faith, follow through, and uh, don't be average. The average person is happy being average. They give up when it gets hard. So don't give up when it gets hard. Keep the faith. So that's the message of the day. Uh, listen to a little Joel Osteen from uh, yesterday. And uh, he speaks about that and about um, how sometimes you got to step back to go forward, like a slingshot. You got to pull a slingshot back in order to get launched forward. So sometimes, uh, you know, you got to put in the time. You got you to get pulled back. Sometimes, uh, Things in life will take you down so that you can build you back up again. So uh, just because stuff isn't going your way, just because it uh, feels like maybe you're moving backwards, keep the patience, keep the faith, and know that uh, if you move backwards, you're going to rebound forwards, just like a slingshot. So that said, um, jump into our prayers today. I know I got Father Eugene tagged. Father Jim got uh, installed at the uh, church, so I know it was a big event this weekend. So Father Eugene down there, and uh, Benny's down there. What do we got, Benny? When you get knocked down, stay down. Look at how you'll make it better and build it back stronger. That's true. It's a good point. When you get knocked back, take a minute and figure out why you get knocked back and figure out what you can do to, to launch forward. So uh, mind, body, spirit. Stay in the faith. Do the work. Eat healthy. Whenever you can. Come right at dawn. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're going to break into prayers today. Matt, you leading us today? We're going to put them on the spot. We'll put them on the spot. Come on, let's go. Yeah, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for a great weekend. Friends, families, lots of events, graduations, uh, downing night out. Uh, your father Jim got installed. Uh, lots of good stuff, a lot of nice weather, people out and about. It's great to uh, kind of be getting over this COVID madness and uh, getting to see our friends and family again and enjoy everyone's company. Uh, it really, really feels good after a long year of uh, isolation. So um, just wanted to uh, ask God to uh, look over everybody and have a great week and stay strong, keep the patience. And uh, I got the shirt on today. Believe there is good, be the good. So when things are going bad, look around for the good. Uh, a lot of people look around for the negative and we need to look around for the good. There's good stuff in our lives. No matter how bad your day is, no matter what's going on, God puts good stuff in your life. Uh, pay attention to it. So definitely pay attention to what's going on around you. And uh, we thank you, God, for doing that for us. So uh, uh, funny story, just before I close out. So yesterday you saw my uh, cannonball into the ocean. <laughs> Got to do something crazy every now and then. And uh, sounded like a good idea at the time, which it was actually, except for the fact that I had sweatpants on. They weighed about 100 pounds on the way on the ride home, which I was kind of expecting that. But uh, the funny part of that was that evening, uh, my buddy Mike Claudio, who was on with us live, uh, was it last week? Um, he put a post up about um, cannonballs. And now he had not watched my video, um, but his, his video was about um, when you do cannonballs, uh, it makes a big splash, and that splash you know, covers other people, and it affects other people, and the waves go out and affects other people when you make a cannonball. And through that cannonball, those people that you affect, they start doing cannonballs, and the process keeps growing. So I thought it was pretty ironic that um, that morning, um, I started doing these videos because of Mike. That morning, uh, we jumped in the ocean, sort of did a cannonball into the wave, and that night, Mike's talking about doing cannonballs and making a difference and affecting people in your lives. So I just kind of think it's another uh, sign that God puts out there that just knows you're on the right track, that uh, weird coincidence that he's talking about the same thing I did that morning, and basically he's, his cannonballs are affecting me, and uh, hopefully my cannonballs are uh, affecting you guys. Just trying to make a difference in the world and uh, give everyone something to smile about, something to think about, something to make their lives better. So that said, happy Monday. Have a great week. And uh, we ride at dawn, 6 a.m. every day.